we are going to play a little bit of Plinko today, and as you can see, Plinko is actually a binomial probability. At each of these levels, the little ball can either go left or go right. Now, we are conducting a simulation, and we are able to simulate this binomial probability model, and we're actually able to change the binomial probability at the same time, and so I would like to find out what it is if the probability of going right is 0.3, and so I can just adjust it there, and now I'm going to start dropping uh, the ball, and I can see that, yes, it's definitely, it's going left. That doesn't mean that it can't go right, and it doesn't mean that it can not go way over here where it gets five rights in a row, okay? And it can go over here, too, where it gets zero rights in a row. And so this is just a nice game for binomial probability. What I want you to do is investigate the sample mean and the sample standard deviation down here as we go to lots and lots of trials. And so here's what the frequency histogram looks like for um, eight balls and five rows. Now, you don't have to keep clicking the, uh, the thing here. You can just let lots and lots of uh, balls go at a time. And this is going to keep track of our, X, of our X bar. What we are interested in is the number of trials that the balls experience and what the probability is and how that relates both to the mean and the standard deviation of the final histogram. And I can see this one stabilized around 1.4 after I've uh, done like almost 300 trials. And so just a word on lowercase n and uppercase n because this can be kind of confusing. In this case, this is a five trial experiment. And so you will probably see a lowercase n show up. So this is n equals five. The capital N tells the number of times we have run this five trial experiment. Okay, so this is an uppercase N and we are going to run into the lowercase N later on. So here we go. See this? This is a, wow, what a fun Plinko game this is. This is a 10 trial experiment and we can run this a lot. Okay, so that's lowercase n, uppercase n, how we're going to do the Plinko thing. 